say that. <laughs> Hello, friends. This is Terry Lair from Treetop Woodworking. I'm just going to make a couple simple, simple project here today. Maybe a couple of them. I don't have a lot of time today, and it looks like it might rain, so I may have to make the others another day. I don't know. We'll just have to wait and find out. But uh, we've got this piece of uh, good-looking piece of cedar here. <laughs> really like it. Man, you can oil this down and wax it once you've sanded it, and man, it's got some pretty, pretty grain to it. Uh, but we're going to be making some uh, phone holders today. Maybe even iPad holder. Don't know, depends on how much time we got. But uh, And this first one's really simple. I think there's like a thousand of them on the internet, but I'm making some for them. I got uh, four daughters coming in from Georgia, and of course it's Mother's Day, and I've got my wife something already, but I want to make her something that she uses quite a bit, something that she will use also. But uh, I've got, what I've got here is a inch and a half. I don't want to get down maybe an inch and a quarter. Just if they pack it in their pocket, maybe it'll be a little better um, for that. And uh, it's not just going to be a holder. It's going to be a little add-on to it. <laughs> not sure what length I want yet. Looks like we might go with uh, four inches. Should be plenty. But we can get that after we've ripped her down to the where we want it. Like I say, we want to get down to about an inch and a quarter. And we'll see what that looks like. About right in there. Should be about where we want. I may have to get another piece of stock to get enough for everybody because I need five of them. I'm going to end up making a whole bunch of these. But I need five today. That cedar smells good. <laughs> See, I'm wanting to cut one more piece. Let's 
see. We'll go ahead and put my blade and see. And again, I went with four and a half inches for what I want to do. About a 20 degree angle on it. Still watching <laughs> it on the wrong side of my deal. <laughs> oh well, got me another world. I got it on 20 degrees. It ought to give me a little more room out here where it won't run out. Hopefully. Oh, yeah. Five eighths is about an eighth too far. It still worked though. But the rest of these I won't go hardly as far. Probably nine sixteenths. Between a half inch to a nine sixteenths. Or to get them good. Hopefully, all of them's got cases, <laughs> or this would be too big. Guess I should have checked that out first, huh? See, we got two more. Now, get the back off that. Well, where my mark go? I know I marked that. more on my hand than I did the board. Now my wood was three quarters inch thick this way. I probably left three sixteenths on the bottom. Good quarter of an inch here at the end and even between here and this point, there's probably three sixteenths. Good three sixteenths. Well, I got six of them here. Boy, oh, cedar. <laughs> sure does smell good. And I got one here that's, uh, what is it now? Not very good shape, but that'll be mine. That'll be okay. I'm going to make a different kind anyway. Uh, these are going to be a little more added to these here in a minute. But uh, let me get straightened up and uh, I'll get back with you.
come down close enough. I'm just going to finish sanding them off. I'll get back with you. I'm going to have some tear out on this one. Pretty good. Just going to do some light sanding and get this down where I want it. And finish it off with some 320. Just hit it a little bit with it. Get these corners rounded off a little bit. See, this is what I'm aiming for. And got all the edges rounded off. and I may cut just a little bit more of this off. But I'm going to put a hole in here, drill a hole in here, and put a, a, a key ring and a carabiner on it. And uh, they can have the keys on it or whatever, and then pack it around with them and set their... Writing all their names and trying to, but somehow I deleted my frame button on my gerbil application. I'm gonna have to try to get that back. All I can do is hit center workpiece for now, but I need to get that frame button back. I don't know what I did. It'll turn out good, but I gotta get that button back. <laughs> well, finally got these done. And all they are are, are phone holders, is what they are. And I'll get a picture of them, of course. You Sit them like that and sit your phone in them, you know. They're all over the internet. But I wanted to make mine just a little bit different and give my girls where they can clip them on their book bags or on their britches or, or however they want to pack them. But uh, I try to get a picture of these too. I think it was uh, 10 bucks. And I got the carabiners. I think it was... Um, Five different colors, four of each. It was four different colors, five of each. Plus, it come with a bag of 20, 20 of the key rings themselves. That's pretty good. I'm thinking it was $10. It was 10 or 20 But uh, I'll find out for sure, and I'll let you know. But I thought that was cool. Just make key rings out of them. I, I like it. And uh, if I thought I might make them a little different, somebody else might do it too. Instead of making my point come out like I did, you know, I thinned them down, made my point come out. I may thin them down the other way. And that way it'll look a little better, maybe, maybe not. Coming out the other way, I don't know. If y'all could think of a better way to do that, just let me know. <laughs> but anyway, thanks for watching. Well, just want to get a little bit of it with a phone sitting in anyway. And you can turn them around the other way, too, and sit them in there. It'll work just fine. But, uh, again, we'll see y'all a little further around the mountain. Thanks for watching.